I think that blockchain is nothing less than the second generation of the internet. And it will change every institution in some ways more so than the first generation did. The basic idea is that for the last 40 years we've had the Internet of Information and that's been a medium for publishing information. But when it comes to assets, things that really matter in the economy like money and stocks and bonds and intellectual property and votes and art and music and loyalty points and identities and so on, sending a copy is a terrible idea. You know, if I send you $100, it's really important I still don't have the money. Um, so this has been called the double spend problem by cryptographers for a long time, and this is managed by big institutions, banks, uh, governments, credit card companies, social media companies, and they perform all of the business and transaction logic of every kind of commerce. They, they clear and settle transactions, they identify parties, and they keep records. Um, but overall, there are growing problems um, with these intermediaries. And 2008 was evidence of that, where they almost brought down the global capitalist system. So what if there were not just an internet of information, what if there were an internet of value? Some kind of global, distributed uh, ledger or database where anything of value from money to music to votes could be managed, transacted, exchanged in a private and secure way. What if there were a native digital medium for value? Well, that's essentially what blockchain is. So people shouldn't be confused by the, di the cryptocurrencies on various blockchains like Bitcoin. The real pony here is the underlying technology.